hopefully I don't glitch out again. If I do, just keep go, keep on trucking, and I'll catch up. You got just this. Just like mustard. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody's wondering why episode 407 is missing, um, it's because I, the stuff screwed up, and the backup also screwed up, which has only happened like two or three times before. Should we uh, say that in the actual episode? Uh, we're saying it right now. This is the actual okay, well, episode. Well, I haven't done the intro yet. You know why? Because your connection was down. Because times are tough. So I sold my soul. I don't think I'll ever regain control. I'm annoyed at how good that was. All right. <laughs> hey, Internet. Highway 47 is watching Star Trek Lower Decks because we do that. We still do that. Just, just live with it. I'm Shaggy B. With me is Draco Funk. Hey, I'm, I'm right here with you. Um, right. I just realized that when I was trying to fix my Internet, I shut down the tab that had everything set up for this episode. Sweet. So, well... Well, this is Star Trek Lower Decks. It's season four, episode nine, and there's not a soul on Earth who knows anything about this episode because I didn't look it up, and Draco Funk failed to I keep know. it know. His internet failed, you know. This episode came out October 26, 2023, and it has an IMDb rating. Are you ready for this? Nope. Eight. Okay. It is titled The Inner Fight. Son of a bitch. I, you know, I was when you when you said, are you ready for this? I was expecting a number like four. <laughs> and I, I, I had a beer can in my hand for when the number came through. And then you said eight and I put the beer back down. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this long. Is, yeah, this is rated slightly below two Vix. Mm. Um, I will tell you it is there. There is one more episode higher rated than this left. Okay, and there's only one more left in the season, so I think I know which one it is. So we're watching this on Paramount Plus, assuming Paramount Plus, the home of Star Trek, um, keeps this you know c- series on their streaming platform, or even exists by the time you watch this. Yeah, uh, Star Trek is leaving the home of Star Trek and uh, moving out on its own because its 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 dad is a boomer who just cares about its own money. Not not all Star Trek is leaving the home of Star Trek. Just all the movies, and then they kind of got rid of their original series, Prodigy, and then like canceled season two, even though they'd already made season two. But if you want to watch season two, it's on Netflix. Right, or will be on Netflix. Or by you know, I'm assuming you're watching this in the future. <laughs> it, it, it was on Netflix, and now you know Netflix has also died. And you're watching this on um, on um, Elon Musk's new streaming service. Yeah, it's called Z, it's called Z because it's for <laughs> it's for it's for Gen Z to to get their memes off. I, what did I just say out loud? I, I, don't, I don't know. I am so sorry that I even went there. I let's, don't just, even... let's please start watching this. Yeah, okay. This is Star Trek Lower Decks, Season 4, Episode 9. I I don't think I even... Oh, no, it was the, the inner fight. That's right. I repressed it. Uh, <laughs> and we're starting it together in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! You did like the last episode. It was all right. Yeah, actually, I, d- I did legitimately like that. I thought that was a cool, a cool, uh, you know, idea. Yes. Yes. CBS C- Studios production. Of a Paramount-owned thing that you can't watch on. Hello.
Oh yeah, that's Tremble lizards. Uh. Huh. 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 <laughs> Oh, no. Is she on the wrong side of the fence? Oh, no. No. She... Uh... Oh. Huh. Yeah. At least we didn't have to see that. Yeah, I appreciate this that. This time. Thank you, Picard Season 1. Yeah. That was one of the things I always used to like about Star Trek, is they didn't have excessive profanity or a lot of gore and, and like super explicit violence. Or like body horror too much. You know, they kind of hinted at those things and then kept them off camera, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, that was a nice thing. Okay. Because I, it was accessible. <laughs> can I remind you of the exploding head in season one of Next Generation? Well, yeah, okay. that That's fair. But in my defense on that one, there was a very unbelievable, unrealistic bit of special effects. <laughs> When that came out, that was the goriest moment of any Trek. Yeah. But it was also clearly a stop motion clay animation. So, you know, there's there give and take there, I think. You're you're not wrong. But it's like it didn't have the same visceral impact as, you know. Hmm. I'm kind of glad the Vulcan character is there. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh wait, wasn't that Tom yeah, Harris? That's that's the the guy who's yeah. Space boy. He's basically a girl. I mean, he's exactly like the girls, except for one key attribute. I would really say maybe at least two and a half. I was going to say the key attribute being that he's, like, not a girl. Oh. Huh. Oh. 
Oh, good. The guy destroying and killing everything, right? Oh, those guys. New accident. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy, I'll bet. Except for that honky-tonk in Alabama. True. Because, <laughs> you know, they're like the law. And I mean, I can respect that guy not wanting to, you know, be nice to the cops. <laughs> Uh. Huh. What what why would the Klingons do that? I mean Huh. Lightning is tight. Word, dog. Maybe she has, like, aggressivitis. Cling on Oma. Is this where all the crews from all the other ships that have been destroyed? Uh, that would make sense. That Romulan is pretty snarky. So we're going to finally figure out where, why everything is happening. Oh, God. I aced my hoodlums and racketeer seminar. <laughs> uh. 
Now that guy's got to get out first. <laughs> hey, you found him. What is that quoting? It's bugging me. That's um, that's uh, the motion picture. That's one of the motives it's playing while they're flying right. through the cloud. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Cardassian. But aren't the Klingons still up there? Now you gotta like re re code the uh, encrypt it through the. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, they are. Encrypt it through the secondary EPS conduit. We've got like an aura going. Me? No, like like the characters. Oh. Steal their com badges. What do you say about Beverly? I don't know. I was too busy trying to make a joke. This is really good animation, actually. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of surprised Section 31 hasn't, like, recruited her. Oh, good. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining glass. It's raining glass. Hallelujah. She's like part Vulcan or something, isn't she? It's going to be Ponfar. Where's your Duktag at? going to become friends. She could kind of use a really angry, aggressive friend. She could use a wharf. This is the same storyline as uh, what's her name and wharf <laughs> from Picard season three.
Oh, Cedo. Oh. Same oh. crew. Okay. No wonder. Yeah. Now, this is how you do a tie-in. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't Cedo a Bajoran? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, the B plot. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, I remember that guy. <laughs> uh I am I am brain skull. <laughs> it's the forest moon of Indor. Yeah, oh God, it is I, the forest moon of Indor. And I gotta give him credit with that whole sequence for um for lampooning how, you know, awkward Starfleet officers and bars always were in Next Gen. Yeah. I can remember when Crusher seduced that Ferengi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. They are completely parodying the forest battle yeah. music. Yeah, 100%.
<laughs> okay, you're in charge. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, I get it. Yeah. And did the old double backwards. <laughs> huh. And bomb it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. It's a pretty shit hole if you can just rip it open with your bare hands. I mean isn't that the entire plot of the one episode where Riker went to a bird of prey? Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he ate all the Pepto Bismol. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's going to puke buckets. <laughs> Uh Huh. Well, what do you know? Whoa, whoa. No, oh, oh. So, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you did you kill something? Um, I hit my touchpad, which maxed the volume. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't that know. Was pretty good. I enjoyed yeah. the episode. Um, um yeah, oh. no, like I, I, I like like this is this is a good way to do a tie into previous series. Like honestly, this this is less finger pointing at my cool poster on the wall level of reference and more like, you know, connecting to something with some substance. I like that. They've gotten um, better at Star Trek. They have. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm up for an eight, but seven and a half. 
All right. I actually gave it an 8.4. Okay, fair enough. I, I thought the storytelling was compelling, and I actually enjoyed that. You know, they're 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 doing callbacks, but yeah, they're, they're, they're connecting they're... it in a way that you know is um makes sense because if Mariner was friends with Cito, Cito was on the Nova Squadron with Locarno. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good overall. Well, join us next time for the whatever the next one is. Um, I am about to burst, so I'm going to go to the bathroom. Good, Good night, night everybody. everybody.